Dun dun! I'm Richard Holder and welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a look at two titans of the industry. I'm talking about camshafts. We have the Brian Tooley Racing Truck Norris Cam and the venerable Sloppy Stage 2. Now I've already done a video comparing them naturally aspirated and I've already done a video comparing them under boost specifically with a turbo and on that video we monitored the boost response for each one of those camshafts. But here's the question. We, we know that they're NA camshafts. We know that they're turbo camshafts. But how do they work with a supercharger? Okay guys, time to look at my favorite things, dynographs. That's right, we're gonna compare the Sloppy Stage 2 cam to the Brian Tui Racing Truck Norris cam. We've got it NA turbocharged and now supercharged to find out if the trend continues from our NA combination to the turbo combination and then finally to the supercharged combination. So, so here is our Truck Norris cam run on a 5.3 liter L33, our aluminum junkyard motor. We had valve springs in it. We had engine 7 8 long tube headers. We ran this thing with a Holly HP management system. And we obviously optimized the tune with both timing and air fill. This thing ran best with about 30 degrees of timing. And we ran this at 12.7 to 1 air fuel. Didn't seem to vary very much going to 13 to 1, even going down to 12.4 or 12.5 didn't change the power. So here's what happened. We produced 424 horsepower and 415 foot-pounds of torque. So here's what happened when we ran the same combination with our Sloppy Stage 2. And by the way, before we get to the Sloppy Stage 2, if you guys are interested, this is what happened when we ran this combination with a stock camshaft, the camshaft that came in the L33, which probably is a little bit bigger than the LM7 camshaft. So these gains are pretty good because this L33 camshaft is already bigger than the LM7. 365 horsepower and peak torque was 389 foot-pounds. You can see it basically improved the power everywhere. So let's take a look and see what is the difference between the Truck Norris Cam and the Sloppy Stage 2. We've gone over this in another video already, but basically this is what happens. The Sloppy Stage 2 Cam is a bigger camshaft. I'll go ahead and put the specs up for both of those, both the Truck Norris Cam. You can see what the lift is, and then you can see what the intake and exhaust duration are on the, on the Truck Norris Cam, and then the LSA. And then I'll do the same thing here for the Sloppy Stage 2. We'll put the lift up. You can see it has more lift. And then we'll put the duration up and you can see again, it has more duration and a different, a slightly wider LSA. But the important thing to note is what I look at is the intake duration on these things. This thing had, the Sloppy Stage 2 has more lift, it has more duration, and it has a change in LSA. Basically, it's a bigger cam. So here's what you should think when you're running a bigger cam and a smaller cam, this is typically what happens. The bigger cam makes more power on the top and usually what happens is it also, not, not coincidentally, makes less power down low than the smaller cam. That's actually what you could expect. Now, obviously, the, the gains that you get would be dependent exactly on the cams that you test, but this is kind of typical, and this is what we would expect. So run with the Sloppy Stage 2. The power output was 441 horsepower. Peak torque was about the same. You can see they're kind of hovering around the plateau in the middle part between 4,500 and 5,000 RPM. Peak torque on the sloppy stage two, 416. So they traded one foot pound of torque. But again, less power down low with the smaller cam, more power up top with the bigger cam on our NA combination. And by the way, this 5.3 was equipped with the factory truck intake manifold and throttle body. Now let's take a look and see what happened with a turbo that we can finally jump over to the blower. Now that we've taken a look at the comparison between the Truck Norris Cam and the Sloppy Stage 2 NA, let's take a look and see what we ran with the turbo. What I was doing in the previous video was illustrating what happens to boost response when we have a smaller cam. So the Truck Norris Cam, 
had much better boost response down low because it made more power down low and that's one of the ways that you improve boost response on a turbo if you make more low speed power the turbo comes up quicker so then the gains get multiplied if you have a little bit more torque down low you can have a lot more torque with the turbo because you have the extra torque na and then you also have the extra boost that comes with that added boost response but here's our comparison this is the truck norris cam with the turbo running at seven and a half pounds or so and this was with a our single turbo kit it had a stock exhaust manifolds run to our y pipe we had two 45 millimeter turbo smart wastegates we had the boost controller electronic boost controller set at seven pounds we had an S475 T6 turbo from Summit Racing and an air to water intercooler running Dyna Water. Both of these were run with the same timing, which was about 20 and a half to 21 degrees of total timing at the top. And here are, is our comparison between the Truck Norris cam and now here is the Sloppy Stage 2 cam. And you'll see that basically they did the same thing that they did NA. The truck Norris cam made more low speed power, which it did NA, and the, the sloppy stage 2 cam made more power on the big end, which is what it did NA. So we see the same thing. As long as we can keep the boost constant on these combinations, the, the turbocharged combination, the power curves are going to mirror the NA curves, and that's exactly what they did. So we had run at seven and a half pounds or so. The Truck Norris cam combination made 633 horsepower and 625 foot-pounds. And the Sloppy Stage 2 stepped things up to 659 horsepower and 616 foot-pounds of torque. So again, we see the same thing. The bigger cam makes more power out at the top at the same boost level, and the smaller cam makes more power down low at the same boost level. Now, obviously, with the turbo combination, you could always adjust this with more boost. So if you wanted to run the smaller cam and have more low speed response, you just turn the boost up one pound and all of a sudden you're making the power that you were with the bigger cam. Or conversely, if you want to make lots of power, put the bigger cam in, turn the boost up, and then you have all the low speed power with the bigger cam. So the choice is yours on this combination. But now let's find out how well these two cams did with a positive displacement supercharger. Okay guys, we've already shown that the Truck Norris cam is a truck cam and a turbo cam. Is it also a blower cam? Now we take a look at our final combination. This is the same motor. This is the L33 5.3 liter run with our two camshafts, the Sloppy Stage 2 and the Brian Tui Racing Truck Norris, this time with a positive displacement supercharger. Thanks to the guys at Demuse Engineering. Thank you, Tom. Shout out to him for building a, an adapter kit, an intake manifold and adapter plate that allowed us to install the GT500 blower. In this case, we used a Ford Racing version. And it was a 2.3 liter blower. We ran it with a big Accufab oval throttle body. And we ran it with a pulley that came with a blower, which is 2.75. And then we ran it with full accessories and then the truck dampener run in this manner. This thing produced 14.7 pounds of boost on the load in. That dropped off slightly to about 14.2 pounds out at the top. And interestingly enough, we would expect there to be a drop in boost on a positive displacement blower when we go up in camshaft. If, it, if the camshaft makes more power, we'd expect a drop in boost, which we didn't see. And I kind of suspect that we we're running into some belt slippage issues, either belt and or the dampener was actually slipping on the crankshaft. I'd like to revisit this. We saw uh, changes in power, which you'll see here. 
which go along with what we saw NA and turbocharge. So that was working and the boost numbers seemed to be consistent run to run with each combination. I just kind of expected to see a drop in boost when we put a different camshaft in. But here are the results. So we ran this combination with that pulley setup with that supercharger on our L33. First equipped with the uh, Brian Tooley Racing Truck Norris cam and our combination produced 707 horsepower and around 690 foot-pounds of torque. You'll notice that I didn't load this nearly as low as I did with the NA combination or even with the turbo combination, and that's because I didn't like seeing 15 pounds of boost on the load-in, on the stationary load-in, on a motor that I hadn't yet put ring gap in. When I do take this thing apart and put ring gap in it and probably will put head studs and new gaskets on it, then I would feel more comfortable doing the very low RPM load in at, at that kind of boost level. But as it was, we, we've made over 100 runs <laughs> under boost. So it's obviously surviving, but it's still, uh, I was a little bit of holding my breath on the ring gap thing. But here's what happened when we went from the, the Truck Norris cam to the Sloppy Stage 2 cam. You can see we have a similar thing. Now, obviously, it didn't load it down low, so we don't see what would happen with the gains offered by the smaller camshaft down low. But <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please comment now. What do you think would happen? So we saw on the NA combination, the smaller camshaft made more power down low. We saw on the turbo combination that the smaller camshaft made more power down low. Had I run these down low with the positive displacement supercharger, what do you guys think would happen with the smaller camshaft down low? Would it continue to follow suit? But anyway, here's what happened on the top end of the, of the combination. Our bigger camshaft, the Sloppy Stage 2 cam, camshaft, did what it did NA and did what it did with the turbo, and it's doing what it did with the positive displacement blower. It made more power on the top. In fact, it, it, it pushed power up to... 728 horsepower torque uh, was very similar because we're in the range right now where the crossover point is between this the two camshafts we're in that range that we saw na and turbocharge which those shifted a little bit back and forth but we're in that range where the crossover point where they're kind of making the same power down at 2000 or 2500 or 3000 or probably even 3500 we would see i think that we would see the smaller camshaft making more power a little bit more power down low but there's no shortage of torque here at this kind of boost level so this might be a situation where the bigger camshaft might be able to bleed off a little bit there and maybe that would be beneficial especially if it lowered the boost which is what i would like to see on this combination because 15 pounds seems like a lot especially for a daily driver kind of a street application but <laughs> you guys get to choose but let me know in the comments what do you think would happen down low in the comparison between the truck norris and the sloppy stage 2 with this positive displacement blower would we see the same thing that we saw na and turbocharge let's get to our conclusion Okay, guys, what do we learn in our comparison once again between the Truck Norris from Brian Tooley Racing and the venerable Sloppy Stage 2 camshaft? Well, we learned, first of all, they work on an EFI 5.3 liter. They work on a turbocharged 5.3 liter, and now we can conclusively say they also work on a supercharged 5.3 liter. And there's really only one left, and I have that video coming up. I'm going to compare those two camshafts. I have already compared those two camshafts on a carbureted combination. So let me know in the comments, what do you think is going to happen there? Are they going to follow suit? But this brings up an important point. When you're looking at camshafts, there are people out there that will tell you, oh, you have an EFI combination, you need an EFI camshaft, or you have a turbo combination, you need a turbo specific camshaft, or you have a supercharged combination, specifically a positive displacement supercharged combination, you need that kind of camshaft. And now, once I show you the carbureted combinations, you need a carbureted camshaft. Now, obviously, neither one of these camshafts, the Truck Norris cam or the Sloppy Stage 2 camshaft, were designed with any of those things in mind. They weren't specifically an EFI 5.3 liter camshaft. They're not specifically a turbo camshaft. They're not specifically a blower camshaft. And they're not specifically a carburetor camshaft. And yet, both of them work. And if you've watched this channel at all, you'll know that that happens with most of the cams out there offered by these companies. I'm sure to make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.